Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here today. This is the Heads Up Show. Um, we're talking about your pictures. We are talking about your pictures. We want you to send us your helmet pictures. It doesn't matter if they're field use or collectibles. Email them to pics at greengridiron.com and we will get to them in this show. We're going way back. There's some way from back. How far? Nine weeks. Like pics, 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 pics. Like. Picks, picks way yeah. back. Nine weeks to all the way up to current. I just did a little grab did you bag. Just like pull them randomly or something. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we get a lot of people who leave comments below that say, "Hey, I sent my stuff in five times or or however many it is mm -hmm. or or months ago. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. We're never going to get to all of them, but there's a lot. We're, you know, you're you're getting to. Them. I, don't, I don't know we're how trying. Steve goes and curates all this stuff. I just know the ones that I see here. This is my first time seeing them. I'm going to grade the helmet on the how I. The, I'm grading it on the helmet, not on the photo. Right, and I'm looking at it from the photo side. How good is the lighting? How good is the composition? What did you do? Did you try, or is it just like me? Yeah, you ready to start? I am. I think we've gone over enough. We did a good job. All right, first up, Derek. All right, Derek. Let's see what you got here. All right, so I remember this guy. Okay, so he wrote a pretty funny thing saying, I'm just another old man collecting helmets. We got some cool things going on here, but interestingly enough, what he's done here is he's taken the stripe, he cut the stripe, he put Berg. The way that we like it. We just did, well, how long was that that we did that with? Uh, the Fantasy Footballers, that video Fantasy just came out yesterday. We got that, that idea from somebody else who did this. I'm assuming that Derek got this idea from watching that video. Then? I guess so, Maybe? but I love that. I'm glad that you are an old man collecting helmets. He didn't say how old he is. He's probably like 40. Or 30, who knows? Yeah. So what we got here is we got a Riddell Revolution helmet. Um, it looks fairly used, but not terribly. We got some, you know, some battle scars on here. Interesting thing, we got no chin straps, so let, let's delete that. We've got the strap lock that comes with, um, doesn't actually come with anything, but it's really made for the speed, but it fits on, you can, actually you can get it to fit on any helmet just by drilling a hole in the helmet. Really nice. Nice green lawn, and he's got it out in nature. The flake is really showing. So good, good stuff, man. And because I know that some thought went into this, especially after you told me that he did this for us, I'm going to give a little bit of uh, some, some bonus points. So I'm going to give this guy, we're going to start off with a 7.1. Oh, man. Okay. For Riddell Revolution. I don't like these old for you, I was going to say, for, for a Revolution, it's a fantastic score. It really okay, is. so thank you for that. Next Tyler. up, Tyler. So he sent in two. Well, he actually sent in like five, um, but I just picked these. two. These are a combination between really nice and, and arguably over the top. Agreed. And I, I, he's probably thrilled with them. Though. When you're going for over the top, go for it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so uh, <laughs> we have some interesting things to notice here. For example, on the Vikings helmet, um, it could be that you've got, we've got an uh, insert on the inside of that visor that clip has to have been painted to match the color. So what happens with this helmet is it gets painted purple and then the carbon fiber-esque hydro hydrographic goes on top of it. Okay. So the face mask, it's a two-tone, so it looks like it uh, was paid, started off silver and then the bottom half was painted purple and then the hydrograph went on top of that. So the hydrographic pattern is basically silver on clear. I like that it's a lightweight face mask because it's fatter, so you get like more design on it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I think that they're extremely well done. I, if yeah, I was and, a Falcons and, fan, know, that one, I I would love that one. To me, these are great. It's uh, it's kind of like a high contrast photo. Some people really like to do that HDR yeah. look. This is the helmet version of an HDR. That's that's over true. Over the top, yeah. right? I'm going to give these guys a pretty high score, not a pick. Okay. Because they're not wait perfect. Up. But I'm going to go with like a 9.3. I think that's well deserved. Yeah. yeah. I, and I think that the job that was done here mm -hmm. with the hydrographics and the paint job, and this, it's a, there's a lot of techniques in there. That's, a lot goes into it. Yeah. 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 You can appreciate how much yeah. goes into really it. Really nice job, Tyler. All right. Next up, James. Oh, I like these pictures, actually. Just super high contrast, but I'm, I'm sure he was well aware of it, trying to boost it up. I mean, I know it's, there's not a lot going on and it's brand new, it looks, but that's the way to make a helmet look cool. That's great. Yeah, I mean, uh, the sun we, we got a Nike through. visor on this guy. We've got a just a regular Riddell chin strap. I'm assuming it's a hard cut, but then it's got the, uh, you know, a Nike sock on there. And, you know, the oranges are matching there. 
it, like Steve said, it looks like a new helmet. It's got a couple of upgraded graded pieces on here, and that's great, but it's really, it's the contrast that's kind of taking this thing over the top. I love this candy apple type look. This will be in the thumbnail. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I yeah, love what this. What if there's a better one that comes along? I'll, I put two or three on there typically, so he'll okay. be he'll be okay. a part of it. I'm going to give James, this is for a Speedflex helmet. I like those. It's a newer model. you got a couple of upgrade pieces on there, and it, you've, you've done whatever you had to do in editing to make it kind of pop. I'm going to go with a 7.2. Oh, man. That's a good score. You like that. It's pretty like basic. There's no decals. No, I um, know. That's why no, I say. There's no overly crazy accessories that are upgraded on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it's but it looks good. Beautiful I like the rabbit ears on the uh, chin strap. All right, next up, Caden. This is from Canada. Okay, so what Caden's doing here, and I gotta zoom in just to take a close look. Yeah, I knew it. Cool. So Caden, Caden's gonna get a bunch of bonus points here because he's got an embossed tech US flag and an embossed tech Canada flag. Now, we know he's gotta be in Canada be. because he's got Canada on top, right? Yes. So we're not, I'm not going to hold that against you too much. <laughs> he um, lives there, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get it. Yeah. Right? Um, so overall, I like the helmet. Uh, Steve could probably talk about the, you know, it being on the post. We actually did that with a helmet yes. a while ago. That yep, Clemson we did. prom helmet that yep. we did. The, the shot with it in the grass, it kind of gives it a mean, aggressive yeah. look. Kind of like a, I don't, I don't know, not a bulldog. Like a prowler. Yeah, something like that. So again... Good job. This looks like a new helmet. It's going to be going and used in battle. Um, I'm curious to see what this is going to look like at the end of the season. Yeah. I'm going to give the, you know, with, with, with those embossed tank flags, see? I'm, it's really a type. Like a, I'm going to give this guy a 7.6. <laughs> see, that a little the, upgrade. The, the helmet is totally not worthy of 7.6. It's those really Those flags not. are really taking it up a notch. Just take it and yeah, run, Nice Kate. job. Uh, next up, Bailey. All right, this is taking Dutch to a new level. I'm, I'm just saying. Vice's helmet. This helmet, the one of the front shot where you can see, um, it's not really padding, but all the little columns columns on the inside of it, it's super cool because it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Battlestar Galactic helmets. Yes, that's a great point. Yeah. I liked this one because of the fact that it was so over the top, but it was the angle. The face mask looks just like a truck and you can yeah. see the columns. Nobody takes Vice's pictures like that. This is a great shot. And you know what I loved? And I really believe that he meant this. The banister really looks like the columns. It kind of like, it's the overall. It's at the right angle? Like is it yeah. like a 45, like almost exactly a 45 degree angle? That's why, that's why I'm mm. saying maybe he meant it. Cause the more you look at it, you see the trim. It's a badass picture. Like okay. it's a sleeper because you think this is wrong, but I know that you meant it and it's great, so. <laughs> you see, so what I'm you noticing it. is none of that, but uh, good job. Yeah. Um, everything's black on this. Yeah. And we've got then a little bit of gold in the decal, and then we got the gold on the mouth piece. Mm -hmm. Everything is black. We've got a black chin strap. We've got black face mask clips. We've got black um, chin strap buckles. And then you, obviously the hardware in here is all silver and stuff. But um, it, it's almost... Dare I say, Steve, too, too black? black? No. Is that possible? I mean, I love everything blacked out, and I actually think that this is a really good look. You got all the, everything on the inside of the Vice's helmet is all black, too. Yes. So. It's a great, it's a great. I just know, love it. it I, I like a little bit of contrast. The gold does give it a little bit of contrast. I'm going to give this guy a 7.5. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, no, I think it's really good. I, oh, really, okay. I really do like all black all, yeah. all the time. I know you do. Yeah. But. To take it to another level, do some contrasting. Like if that was a matte black and then gloss black pieces, or vice versa. Yeah, I would have. I think that that. I mean, obviously, that's probably not what his team does, so it doesn't really matter. It's that's the point. But I think <laughs> stuff like that kind of takes it to another. Level. It does. It does. All right. Next up is Andrew, and this is a 49ers FAU fifty fifty. All right. That so we, he's we we do fifty fifties from time. A lot of people ask, hey, can you do some fifty fifties for us? So this is in. FAU Stadium, yeah, which, and which I don't know the name of off the top of my head. Nor do I. But this is in its infancy. He's just getting started, although he's gotten pretty far with it. He's doing this all himself. Mm -hmm. um, the photos, the one with the red side, that's that's a money picture right there. That's and nice. Is this iPhone? It kind of looks like... I would say certainly mm -hmm. it is, but I tell you, he used it properly. I've I hate actually, that face mask so much. I hate I've it. I've actually been down to FAU. It is 
shockingly beautiful. Oh, is it? Yeah, like, for whatever reason, when I went, and this was years ago that I went down there, I really wasn't expecting much, and when I got there, it's like, kind of bam in your face. Oh, I get that's it. Nice. Like, it's a lot bigger of a stadium facility, the, the, the whole thing, than oh. I was expecting. Well, that's cool. Um, as far as the helmet goes, though, again, we got another, we got a, we got a, uh, we got a Riddell Revolution helmet. Uh, I love the 50-50. This looks like something that you're doing, and it's a project that you're working on yourself. You know, with those, those Riddell, or excuse me, with those Revolution helmets, I was never a fan of the front bumpers on them. It's, it's and if you want stuff. a fresh, like, yeah. like that face mask doesn't have a fresh coat into it. If you want it to look fresh and really make it pop, you can send it to us. We can yeah. condition for you and send it back. Um, you can do it whatever color you want. When you're done with that one, send that back for now because it's a work in progress. It's got to be pretty low because you yeah. got to set the bar for the next time he submits. Yeah. I'd say like five and a half. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna go five point six because <laughs> of the paint job. It's very nice. The paint job, but to be determined. All right, next up, Kyle. All right, Kyle. Oh, these are these are pretty badass. I mean, they're, again, over the I, over the top. Steve, I love it. There you go. How great is this? I'm waiting. Shot? Gets. I want to be able to. I want pictures where I hate it. I. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'm looking to not like stuff. This is again. This is so past <laughs> where 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 they're going with these colors. I mean, Jesus. If this doesn't have South Florida written all over it, you know, the pinks don't really match. Are you driving your yellow blues? Corvette with this on? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to go there. The, <laughs> the, the, the pinks don't match. The blues are close, but they don't match exactly either. Um, it's this close. looks like a. I'm, I'm thinking this face mask might be a Columbia blue, but we've got a we've got a Under Armour visor, and it's got obviously the the pink Under Armour clips, and it's got the matching pink Under Armour visor tab decals, and there's a pink um, shock insert inside the visor. All good stuff on the back of the helmet. Here's what we're missing on the back of the helmet. We've American got, flag. We've got no flag, we've got no warning label, we've got no numbers or any of that kind of stuff, so this is super clean. The decal that is on there, I don't even know what that is. That looks like probably maybe from the company who kind of made the helmet. I think it's a cool design. I think it's way over the top. I'm gonna give this guy, just because it's so different, I haven't seen anything that like that before. I'm gonna go with an 8.1. Whoa. It's, it's got all, you, when, you're, when you start writing on the helmet. You're, that's commitment. Next up, Damien. Okay, this one I have to be, yeah. <laughs> this one is an example of, it's just, it's just not what. Come on, this was done in post, right? Or was, it, or was there a legit Vaseline on the lens? Which no, I, this is somebody on portrait mode going wild. Not, you think this was, that, is. Is this how it came out of the camera? Well, it like is. You got stuff in focus back here, yeah, but not in here. That's what it does. You tell me the iPhone can't figure it, it's, out it's other in, than that? It's in the usage. And I put this picture in for a reason because I want to teach this guy. Because I, I, I appreciate the pictures. The one from the front is fine. Um, it's is just, it fine? Well, it's better than the one from the side. If you put it on portrait mode and if you I, don't tap the screen exactly and you wait with a still hand. I don't want to beat Andrew up here. I think the one from the side is almost comical. But it is. And it's on a helmet. I think he knows that. He knows <laughs> the show. He probably said, let me send in the most To me, it's helmet. on a helmet that's almost comical too. I like the stuff in the backyard though. Like that iron seat thing, that's awesome. Um, what do you, as I mean, far as a score, though, goes, I'm not going to hold any of the photography elements no, you can't. against it because that's not what, that's not what I'm here for. Um, but it's a DNA helmet. I don't, I don't really care. I know where this is, is going. Guys goes, I'm going to go with a 4.6. <laughs> Thanks for sending in your pictures. It could be worse. All right, next up, Colby. Um, All right, Colby. Looks like Colby. <laughs> can Colby sprinkle some water on this? Uh, or was this? it legit rain? It looks very wet around the whole area. I, yeah. I, I mean, I uh, I love it. That okay. angle with the TX in the front, like real down low, it reminds me of something. I'm going to just pull out real quick all the stuff that I like about this. So we got a matching chin strap cup. Yeah. I think that's an Under Armour. Yeah, it's an yeah. Under Armour. Match is close enough. It's a, it's like a like a silver. Imagine it's a silver, dark silver paint it's job. Damn close. We've got obviously the EGTX or the S2EG TX face mask. HS4. Uh, um, right. The two lines. Yeah. Right. And then we've got some Under Armour clips. They are upside down, which is the way that I would have done it here. Yep. We've got a Shock 1.0 visor, and we've got a, an Iridium insert inside the visor. 
Outside of that, I've got. Do we have photos on the back of the helmet? You know what he's done here? He's went and took the flag and he put the flag on the crease. Yep, which is great. I and he, like the flag on the crease. Why do I like it? We can get criticism on that from time and again. Hey, what, what are you doing that for? But you know, that's how a lot of the teams do it. Yes. And it to is. me, it looks like the flag is waving. Lot, yeah, uh, yeah. It makes it look like it's waving. It catches the light real nice, the yep. reflections on it, so it kind of gives a little bit of mm -hmm. pop. He's gone and he's cut the uh, chin strap, the ends of the chin straps. Yep. Not a, not a great job. I bet you it looked great, but this is used with, and it probably just is the fray. It's getting yeah. frayed. Yeah, we'll know? give you the benefit of that on that one too. So gotcha. overall, we got a lot of good stuff going on here. It looks like this face mask was taken, put on this helmet to really upgrade the helmet, and I'm guessing that this is not the original mask that came with this helmet. That's just my gut talking there. Yep. Um, I'm going to go for this guy because we got some nice pieces on there. A 7.1. Um, this one, I don't want to, it just speaks for itself. It's in a locker. Yep. Right? Very, very purple. It is. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is from Rafe. Rafe? Rafe? Let's, let's R A F E. Let's go with uh, Rafe. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here. Uh, it's an interesting paint job on the helmet. What you, you, what you have is you have a Riddell Speed helmet that's been reconditioned by Shutt. How do mm -hmm. we know that? Because when you look at the back of the helmet, you can see the Shutt stamp on the left-hand side. The face mask is a Shutt Speed face mask. So Shutt, in their, you know, they actually make a face mask for the Riddell Speed helmet. This is one of those masks. I think that Overall, it's super cool. The the picture from the side with the matching locker, it's just like glitter threw up on it. And it's, I don't know, it's its so weird that I like it a lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with uh, 6.1. Okay. I just you escaped. Yeah, yeah. You for did. what it is. But you got some really, you got some interesting pieces in there. We have one and a half minutes for one more. Uh, let's do it. Next up. So Roman. Roman. And it tells... Quite a quite a story here. So I love the story that this tells, and I think that so out of the gate, what I see this is a youth helmet. Uh, you can tell from the face mask because it's a youth face mask style. Um, we got a nice red, white, and blue. We've obviously got a, a Houston Texans logo on it, which matches the, the team and all of that. I'm going to go right out of the gate here. I like the warning, uh, excuse me, the award decals on the back. I like the big Texans on the back. I like the the stripe that it kind of comes to a point there. Same I'm going to go with a 6.8 on this guy. Damn. Um, that was good nice. stuff, Roman. You know, I'm put on the spot because we're, we're running out of time. So listen, go take a picture. Send it in. Send them in. Uh, P-I-C-S at greengridiron.com. Like, subscribe, click the notification yes, bell below. Please. And if you want to see more videos like this, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.